Hi everyone! Today we will create the game system to manage our game flow. So far, we create the ball, and if it starts the ground, then it will reposition itself. We will change it so the game system is the one who spawned the ball. And if the ball touches the ground, then the game system also the one who respawned the ball. Let's run the game and see our state right now. If we press start game, it will start the game, but it's a fake. Since the ball already there, and the ball also drop when we press the start game. We will start from here, which is make the game system is the one who spawned the ball. So when we, so when we press start game, the game system will spawn the ball based on the spawn area. Okay, let's do this. Let's use our score system and make it into game system. We can rename it later. Create start game function. We will use this when we press start the game. And when the start game function is called, print start game for now. Go to our Unity editor, select the button, and add on click to run score system start game function. Run the game. Okay. It's working like we want. Now it's time for creating spawn ball function. And you can see, when we are trying to change the current system into game system, we will get many error, which is good. The compiler will guide us to finish our game system. To spawn the ball, we just need this code. Game object ball equals instantiate ball prefab. That's it. But what is ball prefab? We already have ball prefab on our Unity editor. We will use that prefab. Let's declare the ball prefab variable to be used. Private game object ball prefab. Save it. Go to Unity editor and let's take a look at our ball prefab. We already made changes before, but we haven't applied or updated into the prefab in the project folder. To make the prefab safe, click on Overrides and choose Apply All. After that, feel free to remove our ball prefab from Unity Editor. Go to our score system and give the ball prefab to our newly created ball prefab property. Let's try run the game. Okay, nice. The ball has spawned correctly, but its position is kind of fixed. How do we set the position randomly, just like before? Previously, our ball randomly positioned using spawn area script. Let's use that. Define spawn area property in our score system. And when we spawn the ball, call our spawn ball function from spawn area to position the ball randomly. Let's try run the game now. Oops, um, an error. We forgot to set the spawn area to the score system. 
let's give the spawn area object to it and run it again. Our spawn ball is done, but we need to check what's working and not. Try to run the game and shoot it like normal. Okay, now we can see that when the ball touches the ground, it's not respawned. Let's see when we score. Is that feature is still working fine or not? It works. Then we will fix the behavior when the ball touches the ground. Okay, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.